Porque no veo nada, ¿no? Hello, everybody. It is Monday, and you know what that means. We are going to have a good time here from San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. My name is Mark Mulligan, and welcome to my world. Thanks for tuning in. Guess who is joining me tonight? The recently deported Mike Nash is here with us. There he is. And uh, it's going to be a really, really fun night. So this is the part of the night as we're logging on. I'm going to ask everybody to do me a huge favor. I want you to think of somebody you know who's watching something really depressing like the news. And send them a message. Tell them to quit doing that. Get on over here to my Facebook page. They can even hop on Mike Nash's Facebook page tonight. And because uh, we're going live on both. And they're going to have a much better time, I guarantee, hanging out with all of us. And I mean us, because you guys, what makes the show so fun is when you send in your comments um, and talk to each other during the show. Tonight, of course, we'll be showing some of the pictures that you guys have sent in. And we've got all kinds of special ones that we're going to show you and songs we're going to sing. Mike and I are just coming off a live event together here in San Carlos where we welcomed everybody back this weekend. But if you couldn't be here with us, uh, this is a great chance to catch the show tonight. Lots of my San Carlos friends are up in the States and scattered around Canada and have not yet made it here. Well, that's okay. We're going to bring San Carlos to you tonight. Thanks to Seaside Realty. And by the way, Mike and Melissa are here, and they're here with both of their moms. Everybody at home, give it up for their moms. And in fact, I think I'm going to show you real quick while you're logging in here. We got some pictures of Mike, and when you look at these pictures of Mike and his family, something tells me we're going to have a hard time kicking him out of this condo that Seaside Realty has given him for the night, for the uh, whole stay here. That's them eating what they call papas locas, mm, baked potato stuffed with carne asada and corn and cream, and that puts a smile on Mike Nash's face, and so does sitting on that boat with three lovely ladies out in San Carlos. Mike and Melissa are having a good time. Look what Melissa caught. And she's actually sending that home with Elsa and me. We get to eat that baby. So as you can tell, Mike and Melissa are having a wonderful time. Thanks to La Palapa Griega for helping to bring them down. And thanks especially to Seaside Realty for putting them up for a week here in this beautiful condo at Pelican Beach. And uh, I'm looking forward to having Mike joining us. All right. <laughs> Is everybody logged in, and do you have your favorite beverage in hand? Because I do. First thing I'm going to say to you all is salud. And now I'm going to kick this show off with one song before we welcome up Mike Nash, who's currently having his hair done right now. He's primping with Kelly McGuire somewhere right now. <laughs> Well, as I look at those pictures, I think we're turning Mike and Melissa, and maybe even their moms, into the title characters of the song right here, because it's called First World Refugee. He wakes up and he looks out at the ocean A big old lazy sun Paints the morning sky Somewhere off the coast of Hispaniola He gently rubs the sleep out of his eyes He's on the third year of a two week long vacation Wasted too many years working too much overtime Just to surround himself with stuff he never needed Till he hopped on board that boat and waved goodbye Just the other day he took that cell phone And tossed it out in the Caribbean Sea they call him a first world refugee Far away from the land of the free He's got tropical sunshine running through his blood Now 
how Uncle Sam forgot his name And he's never going back again Cause he's finally found a place to call his home He reaches down below and he grabs that old spear gun There's an ocean full of fish Are calling out his name Jump overboard and he'll swim out toward the island Catch his lunch and come back home again. Now the folks up north say he must be smoking something. But they don't know what it is that gets him high. You see, there's something in these blue and emerald waters. Gives him a buzz that money just can't buy. So he heads that sailboat straight into the sunset. Hey, there's no place on this earth he'd rather be. They call him a first world refugee, far away from the land of the free. He's got tropical sunshine running through his blood. Now Uncle Sam forgot his name. And he's never going back again Cause he's finally found a place to call his home Now life is good on this side of the sandbar Ain't no doubt about it. This is where he's born to be. He's just a first world refugee, far away from the land of the free. He's got tropical sunshine running through his blood. Now Uncle Sam forgot his name, and he's never going back again. Cause he's finally found a place to call his home. Oh, he's finally found a place to call his home. All right, let's welcome to the stage the one, the only, out of Tennessee, Mike Nash. Nash, 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 Nash. Nash. Hello, hello. The crowd goes crazy. I think I hit the thing. Hang on. <laughs> he's already left us. Wow, what a diva. He didn't even do one song, man. Even Bob Dylan did like two songs last time he played live. Bye, Mike. Thanks for coming. We, we loved it, man. That was awesome. Mike's attitude is always leave them wanting more. <laughs> check, check. Okay, I think that's good. Welcome back. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's a great place to be back, too. Oh, it's been a wonderful two weeks in Mexico, actually. We were in Rocky Point. Up there with Mark for the SOB Festival. That went fantastic. We had such a good time up there in Rocky Point with 60 people we brought down from all over the United States and had a four-day drunk fest with a little bit of music. <laughs> of course, Mark came up. Mark brought Elsa with him, which was kind of cool. We got to party it up with her and have a good time. And uh, Then we got to come all the way down here to San Carlos and spend another week in this paradise. So Life's pretty tough right now. <laughs> I found out a long time ago, you don't have to be rich if you're rich of friends. That is uh, the, the most important thing. So Mark sang his song about uh, a refugee. I was once a refugee that had just moved to Florida. And Florida's a lot like down here, except there's a lot more humidity. But I remember my first winter when I lived in Florida, and I was sitting out on the river fishing in shorts and flip-flops in the middle of December. And I was talking to my friends back home, and they were all freezing their butts off in the snow. <laughs> I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do this. So uh, in honor of that, here's a little song called Florida Day. Hitch, Mark has done a really good job of learning on piano for everybody, so I, I'm excited. I had about a minute and a half to learn this thing. <laughs> <laughs> he did great. So here we go. One. Out of the south today, the 
The man said it's about 78 Sun shining bright There ain't a cloud in the sky I loaded the boat up with gas and beer Man, that water's looking crystal clear And it's a heck of a day just to be alive today we have an audience for those of you just tuning in on my phone we're splitting the phones here to try to get the maximum coverage for the show and as mark said earlier melissa and i got a chance to bring our mamas down so our moms are our audience today which is pretty cool all right and melissa is manning the phone lines as always so send your requests for me or mark Yep, and we got Elsa helping out of that, too. We want to thank you all for joining us. And don't forget, if you know somebody out there who'd love this view behind us and this kind of music, please send them on over and have them join us. It'll be a really, really fun time tonight. Mike and I are each going to do five or six songs, but right after that, we're going to be taking your request, too. And we anticipate some fun ones from you guys. We've got Pablo and Anais, who are running our uh, audio and visuals tonight. As always, they do a great job. You even saw them uh, a couple of shows ago. They got up and actually performed, Mike. These guys got up and played. She played percussion. He played really? bass. Nice. And it was awesome. Everybody nice. loved it. So when Rudy B comes down here, which, by the way, Rudy B is coming down very, very soon. I'll fill you in. We're going to see if we can get Pablo and Anais to join us along with Rudy B and just have a, a, a little I'd, band I'd like going here. here. For that, that sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Well, seeing those pictures of you, Mike, uh, out there fishing with Melissa kind of puts me in the mood to sing this next song. Too much wishing, not enough fishing. Classifieds are spread across your coffee table. With a circle drawn around some ad says boat for sale. Now she's a fisherman's dream And all you've ever talked about 
But you take a swig, shake your head, and cross it out. Too much wishing, not enough fishing. Too many days saying maybe someday while the clock keeps ticking. You gotta sit now every now and then, or you're gonna wind up my friend. Doing too much wishing, not enough fishing. On Dock B, that little boat sits in a slip. Sign's been up for a week or so, but no bites yet. Yeah, she needs a little work, but at this price, what a steal. Until your wife says, honey, wait for a better deal. Back to too much wishing and not enough fishing. Too many days saying maybe someday while the clock keeps ticking. You got to say now, every now and then. Or you're gonna wind up my friend Doing too much wishing And not enough fishing Now ever since the day we met You've been talking about that big dream Now all these years have come and gone It's still the same routine Always not now, later on If I could, man, I would Excuses never end Till that sign says sold and your story's getting old Cause there you go again She's still wishing <laughs> Not enough nows, too many thens Too many whys and not enough whens And too much wishing and not enough fishing So cast your line and reel one in Or your story just might end With too much wishing And not enough fishing Too much wishing And not enough fishing Let that happen to you. Too much wishing. Not enough fishing. You guys look good on that boat. And Melissa, nice job with that fish. Do you fish a lot? No? I'm, wow. Well, <laughs> not good. as much as I'd like to. <laughs> well, look at that view behind us, guys. Is this amazing? Yeah. This doesn't suck. No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> all right. We've been looking at this view all week. <laughs> Thanks to Ron and Karen with Seaside Realty, that is. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> they took care of us. Well, you know, when you were doing that one, it made me kind of think of uh, most of us, when we write a fishing song, wishing has to be in there somewhere. It just kind of always works together. So I got one for the same thing. Here's a little Gone with the Wind. I wrote this one on a sailboat in Tampa Bay with my friends Brian and Kathy Watson, if they happen to be tuned in out there. Hi, Brian and Kathy. And um, he challenged me. I thought he challenged me to write a song about a guy who sells it all and loads it all on a boat and, you know, what he has left and sails off into the sunset. And I'm like, oh, that sounds like a good idea, Brian, but it's kind of been done. <laughs> and then he's like, ah, but the catch is it's gone with the wind. You got to bring Brian. in plays on the movie. I said, that's a good idea. I'll try that. Brian, I'm going to do this Brian, for Brian. we got to co-write, man. 15% <laughs> of nothing's nothing. <laughs> Here's a little gone with the wind. Lately I've been wishing I had more time for fishing I need a break from the daily grind And 40 feet of waterline to do just fine Baby, pack your summer clothes Let's find a place that no one knows We'll get a little sand between our toes And leave Atlanta behind, yeah Come on, baby, let's sail away Save our troubles for another day Pack it up Take it on down to the islands Kick back living, sipping umbrella drinks Sounds good to me Honey, what do you think? We go 
hoist our sails Never come back again Burn it all down Let's get gone with the wind Yes, sir Well, now, baby, we can find a little spot down island Keep it between the navigational pines Far away from the city lights Skinny dipping under a scarlet sky Do a little work on our son's hand Frankly, I don't think that anybody give a damn If we just took off to some foreign land Well, that'd be all right Maybe Mexico Well, come on, baby, let's sail away Save our troubles for another day Pack it up Take it on down to the islands Kick back, live and sip an umbrella drink Sounds good to me Honey, what do you think? We could hoist our sails Never come back again Burn it all down Let's get gone with the wind Get bar, yeah. Set them on some all just float away. Oh, come on in, girl, the water's fine. Yeah, this is paradise. Shake them with a little ice. Wouldn't that be nice right now? Come on, baby, let's sail away. Save our troubles for another day. Pack it up, take it on down to the islands. To the Sounds pretty good to me, Mark. What do you think? We can hoist our sails and never come back again. Burn it all down. Let's get gone. Feel so right. I can't be wrong. Pack your bags and we'll get gone with the wind. Yeah. Hey, yo. Sounds like a game plan, doesn't it? <laughs> That's a great idea. All right. Well, Sail away. you know, we're not just here tonight to celebrate Mike being here and enjoy a, an awesome night in San Carlos, Mexico, or wherever you're sitting on your couch. But guess what we're also celebrating tonight? It's my friend Jean Motel's birthday, and she is up in Phoenix. Let's see if we got a picture of Jean. Look at her celebrating her birthday. Oh, that's cool. Everybody on your couches, give it up for Jean. <laughs> and we're going to sing one of my favorite songs in the world, and it goes just like this. Happy birthday to you. Come on, moms. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. All right, well, you know, Gene, I hope you're having a great birthday, but there's another thing that I would like to celebrate tonight. Uh, my friends Bill and Nancy Latone, look at them. They are looking good in that picture. And, uh, Nancy, I want to congratulate you because you had some great news on your health reports that we've all been praying for. It, things are looking good for you as of this week. And, again, from your couches, give it up for Nancy and Bill well, while well, your wife is getting good news this week, it's 20 years for you, I think, this week, or just a few days ago, 20 years since basically you uh, beat this whole cancer thing yourself. And I want to raise my glass to you, Bill and Nancy. You guys are an awesome couple, and you have every reason to be smiling today. And so do we. Economy has got you down. Is it me or is that a frown? That upside down smile never looked good on you. Down in the tropics, out on the island, a crazy man says I be smiling. These days, what else you gonna do? But listen to the crazy man singing this song for you. I got the sea and the shore. Outside my door, slap me if I ever complain. Good morning from the island, the sun is shining, and I'd be smiling today. Bad news is getting old, 
The weather's hot, but the world is cold. Ain't it time that we all had a little fun? Today's music is in the crapper. Techno pop and gangster rappers. Those nasty old thugs ain't ever gonna bring me down. With the sea and the shore outside my door. Slap me if I ever complain. Good morning from the island. The sun is shining. Complain. Good morning from the island, the sun is shining, and I'd be smiling today. This little ditty don't make sense, I don't care, I just want to dance, so take my hand, goes down It's a crazy old world but I think I'll stick around With the sea and the shore outside my door Never complain Good morning from the island The sun is shining and I'd be smiling today We got the sea and the shore outside my door Slap me if I ever complain Good morning from the island The sun is shining and now just you guys, the sea and the shore, outside my door, slap me if I ever complain. Good morning from the island, the sun is shining, and I be smiling today. We got the sea and the shore, outside my door, slap me if I ever complain. Good morning from the island, the sun is shining, and I be smiling today. Island, the sun is shining, and I'd be smiling today. And Bill and Nancy, I hope you be smiling too. And you too, Gene. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Let's send it on back over to Mike you Nash. Know, now that I think about it, you are always smiling. I don't think I've ever seen. I, I can't imagine what it must take to get Mark Mulligan mad. I'm usually, <laughs> oh yeah, ask my wife. It's usually technology. <laughs> there are two things she knows the source of my ire on yeah. everything. It's always phones or computers. Phones and computers. That's it. We phones and computers those. enrage me. <laughs> In fact, Elsa knows I've made her a promise that the day I finally hang it up for music someday when I'm like 98 and my kids are finally out of the house. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually going to take my laptop down right here to the water, and I'm going to fling it like a frisbee into the <laughs> Sea of Cortez. Boy, I would, and I, I would be day. a happy man. I would. I'd be so much happier without Facebook. <laughs> but in our line of work, unfortunately, we have to have it. It's a necessary evil, as is the internet. But I remember a time long ago when we grew up, we didn't have the internet. Remember that? We could just go out and play, and you saw. That's what I love about coming down to Mexico. Is it's like stepping back in time. You see kids out playing. You, See people at the beach enjoying life and not all pissed off on Facebook because everybody's, you know, divided and stuff. So I, I, I like coming in here. We could use a little more Mexico in our American diet. And we could use a little less Internet in it, too. But I wrote a song about that one. This is called uh, When Kids Played Outside. Summer days and old swimming holes. We had a boombox cranking out the rock and roll. Back when our little town was our whole world and that banana seat took us where we wanted to go yeah. we played ball in our backyard ran away a few times but we never made it far we got cuts and scrapes and bruises and scars and we were fighting for our right to party hard Back when kids played outside We were going together but never went anywhere we stay out all day long, mom and dad didn't care Yeah, we didn't have texts, we just passed notes We had rings on our fingers 
not in our nose. That's for sure. We didn't know. <laughs> well, now our chat room was a local arcade. And a handful of quarters, man, they'd last you all day. When ADD was something we did in school, we didn't need therapy to tell us we ruled. We didn't have no internet. No, our PlayStation was an old swing set. We traded record players for new tape decks. Man, it was great to be alive back when kids played outside. of our own. Give them face pods and my books and camera phones. Ain't no more tree houses or old skating rinks. <laughs> Ain't even music videos on MTV. We take pills for everything. Play indoor golf. We get 500 channels. Ain't a damn thing on. Yeah, we're living in the future. Me, I'll take the past. It's all too much. And I just want to go back to win. We didn't have no internet, no, our PlayStation was an old swing set. We didn't have to be politically correct, and we turned out just fine. We used to go out cruising on Friday night, used to use our fists if we got in a fight. And Dad got the belt when we got out of line, and it was great to be alive. on that one. <laughs> now I don't feel so bad about sending my kids outside to play in the traffic. Thank you, Mike. I, I don't feel like such a slouch of a dad now. It's in black clothes at nighttime? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's where you'd cross the lines. You're supposed to wear reflective clothing yeah. at nighttime. How's everyone doing? Is everyone having a good time tonight? We hope so. We've uh, already got some requests coming in, and we're going to get to them. We're each gonna, Mike and I will each do another song or so. Mike, one thing I love about these Facebook Live shows is not only how people talk to each other, and you guys have your own little community out there now, people who watch every single week, and I certainly appreciate that. Um, it's also really neat the pictures that you guys send in. This, this week we got pictures from a few new people, and I just thought I'd just feature a couple of them right now. Let's see. Uh, Kevin Sparks, who is another guitar player, and uh, he comes down here to San Carlos too. He sent in some pretty cool pictures. That's out near the soggy peso right there. Look at that. Look at that kite surfer. Sweet. Is that cool? I think I saw that guy the other day. <laughs> I'm serious. We were down there. Yeah. He's Look at great. that one. Really good. Kevin Sparks, nice pictures you're sending in. Wow. There's that cater again. That's San Carlos, everybody. It's, uh, it's such a great spot. Only about seven hours or so from Phoenix. Easy drive, safe place to come. We certainly hope you'll come down here. Kevin, thank you for those pictures. Those were great. And, Kevin, I'm looking forward to hearing what you got to play on guitar. Uh, hey, I also want to thank my friend Jana. Jana Hanstead. Barry and Jana, I got to play your uh, Renewal of Owls many years ago. And they sent me these pictures. Look at those. Look at that sunset. That is just amazing. These are pictures from Jana. San Carlos, Sonora, Mexico. Just an unbeatable spot. You know, we are kind of the anti-Cabo San Lucas. We don't have any big chains or all-inclusives. In fact, we don't even have a stoplight. If you keep pe in inviting people down here, you're going <laughs> yeah, to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> nice, well-kept secret. Yeah. Down here. Don't blow it. <laughs> yeah, what I meant to say is it really sucks. As you yeah, can it's terrible. Pictures. You don't want to come That's down where here. I <laughs> sing on Wednesday nights. I start this Wednesday at La Palapa Griega, that little place you saw right there on the beach. Wednesdays at 5 o'clock. So when you do come down, always plan to be here on a Wednesday. We have a great time. And uh, two Wednesdays from now, I'm going to be joined by Rudy B, guitarist Rudy B, Love who's going to be coming down from He's Phoenix, awesome. and I can't wait for that one. And soon after that, we'll get him back here for another Facebook Live show, too. So can't wait. Um, I saw some great sunsets in, uh, in those pictures you just sent. So I'm going to do one. Our sun's about to go down here, too, and I'm sure at some point, Pablo will probably, as the sun minutes. goes down, he'll whiz over there and get some shots of that live from San Carlos. I've played
played this one in a long time, and when I was looking at those pictures, it just kind of got me in the mood to play a song written by my buddy Jeff Percival. You can find this on the Best of the Early Years album. It's called Sunsets. I was sitting on my front porch swing Watching the sun go down Thinking that there's still some things Left to do while it was still around Then the colors took me by surprise I was suddenly so hypnotized I let the worries of life pass me by It was then and there that I realized That a sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go and learn to let it be I was watching mama getting gray And my daddy's strength began to fade That's when I began to pray Lord, please don't take them away Cause I still got so much left to learn And I love my mom and daddy so But this old world continues to turn Mama said, son, I thought by now you'd know that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can learn to leave a few things undone and truly take the time to see that a sunset can be a beautiful thing when you can let go and learn to let it be Now I'm sitting on my front porch swing And I'm watching that sun go down And I'm thinking that there's still some things Left to do while I'm still around Then my life passes before my eyes And I'm suddenly so hypnotized Is it the color of the painted skies? Cause I hear a voice from the other side Singing sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go and learn to let it be Sunsets can be a beautiful thing When you can learn to leave a few things undone And truly take the time to see That sunset can be a beautiful thing When you can let go and learn to let it be Oh, yeah. We should share that with him. <laughs> you know what? What's that? Are you, Sean Castle's out there watching. Sean, were you really requesting that song? That is awesome because I, we're on the same wavelength. Get help, Sean. Hey, um, <laughs> can, can you, Pablo, get a shot of that sunset right now? Look at that behind us, guys. Oh, my God. Is that proof that God has a capital G or what? Look at that. He paints almost as good as Kelly McGuire, <laughs> doesn't he? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly paints pretty nicely, but I don't know. Oh, it's pretty nice. Though. How about our friends up there? Kelly McGuire is kicking out some amazing paintings. How about Tom Shepard? Tom's been nailing it. He's been doing a great job. He's, <laughs> he, yeah, I'll leave it to him to, to discover a brand new talent in the midst of COVID. <laughs>
Really, he's making us look like a couple lazy musicians. I didn't know these guys had all these talents. He's sending me all these pictures of the dogs he's drawing. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I mean, that looks like a a real serious, you know, Picasso. Yeah. He's really good. Yeah. That's doing well. We got to get some talent, dude. No kidding. (laughs) We don't have any talent. We're sitting on a beach in Mexico getting drunk playing for people. There's our talent. That's our special talent. May as well play some songs. (laughs) Speaking of Tom Shepard, I'll do this one that's a... I was lucky. I'll be walking somewhere in between Jackson Square and Bourbon Street Holding your hand And we'll live it all again Wandering among the ghosts of New Orleans Cars on Garanda Lane woke us on the day we left in the side. Wished us well, but over time the magic fades and people go their separate ways. And in the end, she married someone else. Yeah, I think of her from time to time, and I've heard that she's doing fine. But I wonder, is it wrong? I hope she. Right, not how they say that when you leave this life, you spend eternity in the place you were happiest. If that's so, then I know I'll be walking somewhere in between Jackson Square and Bourbon Street, holding her hand, and we live it all again, wandering among the Ghosts of New Orleans As I step into the light I see her on the other side We're young again And she's got that sundress on And she's standing on the corner As I move a little closer she smiles and says, what took you so long? And then we are walking somewhere in between Jackson Square and Bourbon Street And I'm holding her hand And we live it all again Wandering among the ghosts of New Orleans So much. Mike, you, Mike, you, you, you hold on. You have to tell them what you discovered last time we played together. That song so, reminded you of something else. It never reminded me of this before. <laughs> but when Mark plays, he just created that lick that we call that a lick, that lick, that thing he does to it. And I'm like, what is that? It drove me crazy the whole song. I couldn't figure out what the lick was. And it reminded me of a song from years and years ago from a TV show. And when he finally got it. <laughs> you want to do the lick? There's one, two, three, four. Walking on it. I never thought I could feel so free. Flying away on a wing in a prayer. Believe it or not, it's just me. <laughs> it was the lick, man. <laughs> oh, From man. the great American hero, I do believe that. I was show. sitting on my piano the, the other day doing TV theme songs, and because I so desperately wanted to do the theme from Welcome Back, Cotter. For our welcome back party. I wanted that to be the first song. I'm welcome serious. Back. And it's so great because my 19-year-old kid, Mark, goes with me. I kept playing it over and over. This is a cool song. <laughs> it's a cool song, Mr. Cat. All right. Um, Mike, you know what's kind of neat is there is a couple, there's a couple of guys in the Midwest. Um, Gary Schmidt's a good friend of mine, and he's teamed up with a gentleman named Mark, and they have formed a band named... Pacifico Blue. I love that name. And in fact, tonight as we're doing this show, 
they always have to tune in a little bit late because Monday night's their rehearsal night, but they're just coming off a show. As a matter of fact, their second show ever. They're just a duo that loves to have fun, and they got, to, they got a gig at a brewery, the 13 Below Brewery in Cincinnati, Ohio. I think we have a little bit of footage of that. Let's, uh, let's see what we got here from the band Pacifico Blue out of Cincinnati, the, the duo. <laughs> that round of applause that they got now come on guys M mike and i we need to hear that same round of applause from your couch tonight come on give it up for us come on you can do it i know you, even if you're sitting there alone dennis swinton mesquite texas still give us a round of applause i saw you you just did it good job dennis <laughs> well i'll tell you what they were just singing for you a song called pacifico blue and why don't i give you my version the original version of the song and if you're drinking a pacifico tonight this one goes out for you Blue water, sunny sky, another day in paradise. It wasn't long ago we said goodbye, and I ended up down here. Now who's to blame, I can't recall, but who cares, it doesn't matter at all. Cause I'm a world away from you, sucking down an ice cold beer. Things never quite happen like I planned What you doing back on my mind again? Sand dollars and pesos A slight buzz and a sunburn nose It ain't much but it's something to show For all this wasted time I thought the beaches and the ocean view we're all I needed to get over you. The sun is shining like tequila gold, but I'm Pacific Blue. Now I can tell you about the fun I've had. At first it really wasn't all that bad. The weather's nice and the people are too. So how could I complain? But last night when I was all alone, I left a message at the sound of the tone And said, honey, won't you pick up the phone Before I go insane You cut me off and you left me hanging on the line Pulled out a glass and I chased you off my mind Sand dollars and pesos A slight buzz and a sunburn nose it ain't much, but it's something to show For all this wasted time I thought the beaches and the ocean view Were all I needed to get over you The sun is shining like tequila gold But I'm Pacific blue What you got for us, Mike? Dollars and pesos, a slight buzz and a sunburn nose. It ain't much, but it's something to show for all this wasted time. I thought the beaches and the ocean view were all I needed to get over you. The sun is shining like tequila gold, but I'm Pacific blue. I thought the beaches and the ocean view. We're all I needed to get over you. The sun is shining like tequila gold, but I'm Pacific blue. The sun is shining like tequila gold, but I'm Pacific blue. That may 
Make me thirsty. Thank you, moms. <laughs> Make me thirsty. <laughs> hey, salute everybody, and especially I want to say salute to Mike Nash. Mike, how salute many Mike times? Mike. I'm curious. How many times do you think you've been to San Carlos now? You know, I would have to say about six, probably six or seven. You've kind of uh, adopted this as your as your little getaway. I yeah, know you do the yeah. big event, and you've got another one coming up in April, another SOB fest. We do, which is great because that's such an easy place for people to get to, and and you work at transportation with yeah. them from Phoenix and all that. Makes it easy, and it's kind of nice for you, I think, to be able to come down to San Carlos right after that, and it's even a little it. more mellow kind of spot. You know, we were just talking the other day how cool it would be once we get the SOB uh, in Rocky Point established. You know, and it's a good big event. We could do a spinoff thing the week after and bring a group down here, the, the, you know, the ones that are a little more... The little less obese. Once, once, <laughs> <laughs> once, they, once they get down here, you know, I, like I think they'll enjoy it. I think you've got to have a big SOB and a little SOB. <laughs> a little SOB. <laughs> I thought you said a little less obese. I was like, what? <laughs> no, I'm not going to comment on that one. <laughs> but yeah, no, that would be great. And we could do like a... You know, maybe just a continuation of the week or something. Yeah. Once we get people comfortable coming that far, yeah, that's right. it's just a, a natural you that's know, right. expansion to come on this far, too. And, yeah. and then you'll see Melissa and I drive all over Mexico. We've been all over driving. We've walked some of it because yeah. <laughs> our car broke down. <laughs> but being all over Mexico like Mike has, I know he's, he's been down in Playa del Carmen and all those places, too. And Mike and I have talked about how different this place is. There's a reason that I've lived in this place for 27 years and that I raised my family here. And um, you're looking at one of them right there behind us. Um, it's the Sea of Cortez is just something incredible. And uh, I want to thank those Seaside Realty, honestly, for, for uh, making you and your family feel so at home every time you come down. They give you this beautiful condo. God, they do, and yeah. just so you guys know, watching, uh, we get a lot of requests from people after the show that say, when I come down, I want to stay in that exact condo that you guys are doing the show from. Um, we bounced around to several. Seaside Realty runs several of these. We, we happen to be on the fourth floor tonight. I think, Mike, you and Melissa said that of all the ones you've stayed in, this is your favorite one. It's, it's just a little, well, it's a little, you get a little bit higher view. Yeah. You know, and um, know, it's just a little nicer. Yeah. Everything's just a, a hair nicer, but really they're all nice. They're all beautiful, so you can't really go wrong here. They've got, they've got all places all over town, but uh, I do encourage if you come down to uh, San Carlos to visit, if you want to get a handle on this exact stage where we are, and you want to have this view, and you want to be sitting here watching the sun go down, then do me a favor. Email me after the show. I'll put you in touch with Seaside. And I sure would like to, with as good as they've been to artists like Mike and Rudy B coming down here, I sure would love it if you gave them a, a call or shot them a note when you're going to come down here and visit. Yeah. All right? It would be great to get them some business from it because they really are great to us. And, you know, like I said earlier, it's the um, – I remember my very first time driving in Mexico and I was driving to Rocky Point. And we were we were hitting the border right about dark, so it was that little edge of fear, you know, oh, I'm a little scared. I'm driving to Mexico, <laughs> and it's amazing how fast that goes away. And yeah. now we've driven all over Mexico, and we just feel completely safe. And it makes me realize what a what a very bad rap these folks get in our media. You know, we're pretty much ingrained from the time we're kids with movies and commercials and all this stuff. To oh, Mexico's scary. Don't go there. And, I think maybe they don't want us to come here because you come down here and it's like stepping back in time to America and you see kind of what's wrong with us these yeah. days, you know. They've got it right, they got it right down here. Anyway, this is a perfect perfect face intro it, to face a song. It, Mike, you're just here for the Papas Locust, the baked potatoes <laughs> with the carne asada. If it weren't for that, he wouldn't be coming to Mexico. <laughs> I'm a big fan of those Papa Locusts. I like crazy Papas. <laughs> That didn't really come out right, did it? <laughs> what are you? You know what I mean. <laughs> French fries. Crazy French fries. <laughs> Go with that. Well, this is a, a song a friend named Brad Kulrick out of uh, San Diego, California wrote this one. And I think he just, he really grasped the beauty of this place and, and all over Mexico. So I'm going to play this one in honor of him. I was down and out of money I was dry as a bone Standing on a corner in Juarez, Mexico Outside Camilla's cantina I caught a glimpse of hope When a gentle man began to speak to me He said he traveled to El Norte to work the San Joaquin 
Lock it from his mother would ease the suffering and They were days as dry as ashes Nights as cold as hell But faith and desperation served him well and If you see him you will know him By the look upon his face His left eye kind of twinkled from the light of peace and grace He can speak in any language But he favors Espanol Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico I could see it in his fingers I could hear it in his voice for years had not been kind to one who clearly had no choice. He was baptized in the waters of the restless Rio Grande. And now he's found a place to call his home. And if you see him, you will know him by the look upon his face. His left eye kind of twinkles. From the light of peace and grace He can speak in any language But he favors Espanol Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico Well, it suddenly came clear to me Just who this wise man was I wondered if I'd get to see All the miracles he does So I started in to tell him Just where my life went wrong But it didn't seem to matter anymore So if you get down to El Paso be sure and cross the border Especially if you find the need To get your life in order Outside Camilla's cantina That's where you'll save your soul Jesus lives in Wallace, Mexico And if you see him, you will know him By the look upon his face Left eye kind of twinkles From the light of peace and grace He can speak in any language But he favors Espanol Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico Yes, he can speak in any language Better well, mas prefer de Espanol Jesus lives in Juarez, Mexico. Beautiful song. I love your harmony to that. Yeah. Nice. I was just so, thinking when I record that, it needs to be a acoustic guitar and like the the dual the harmonies, but like those old Spanish harmonies yeah. where they were like a low and a, and a mid instead of a high and a mid. Yeah. What you just did was awesome. That is cool. I, I, so that's going to be on the next album, huh? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, like a little accordion in the back or something. Yeah. I wanted to give it a really Spanish feel without being like too over the top. Yeah. You know? How about Mike Nash speaking Spanish in that song? I'm impressed, <laughs> man. Un poquito. He's stealing my gig here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move down here, learn Spanish, and steal all of Mark Mulligan's gig. <laughs> I thought I saw you taking a swig of tequila in there. Now, now I know he was. <laughs> Hey, Mike, I love doing this next song with you, though. Speaking of harmonies, I love your harmonies on this song and, and how you play it, too. And uh, Mike and I both, um, both enjoy hanging out with our daughters. His daughter's a little bit older than mine. Kendall's 17 now, 17, I think. 17, yeah. 
And you're coming off. going on 30. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're coming off a great road trip with her that many of us on Facebook followed the daily adventures of you guys. That was fun. Daddy Daughter Week 2020. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was incredible. And I hope one day to do that with Mighty Soul. You will. Here's a song that I wrote about my little girl. And I hope from your couch you will sing along at home to Mighty Soul. You guys know what that means, right? If you don't, here's why I named her that. Mar means ocean, soul means sun. Just in case you're wondering where her name came from, I never thought anything in life could ever be as beautiful as sea and sun together. At least until the day she came along. Now, oh, 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 oh I love my little body soul. up my world oh, 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 I love my little mind so oh, 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 she's just her daddy's girl sure I love my sons their rough house is fun but there are things that only daughters do. Now that pink dress and those little shoes are matching. I can't believe she's already into fashion. She's gonna break a heart or two. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. I love my little body soul. Ribbons and her curls. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. I love my little body so. Oh, 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 oh. She's just her daddy's girl. She's growing up too fast. And each day she's prettier than the one before. I don't want to think about. The day some kid comes knocking on my door. You know how that goes. <laughs> Singing, whoa, 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 whoa. I love your daughter, Molly Soul. Daddy's girl. She'll always be her daddy's girl. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I love my little mommy so. Yeah, nice job, Mike. I love doing that song with Mike Nash. Partially because I know you can relate to that one. I so, can totally yeah. relate to that one. Actually, it, um, for those of you guys who don't know the story, uh, the very first time I came here to play with Mark, he invited Melissa and I to come in uh, many, many years ago, and we flew in from Mexico City. We had been down in Costa Rica, and we connected to Mexico City, and we came down here to San Carlos for the first time and just uh, fell in love. Our friend Aunt Lenny Atley put us up in the house over here, and we just got to meet everybody that first week and had such a great time. And, and Mark and I knew each other well, but not like we'd never played a lot of shows together, and it was kind of one of our first shows. And, he broke that song out. He played that one. I was like, man, I love that song. But Mark Mulligan makes me look like a terrible father. <laughs> I don't have a song for my daughter. So I had to go write one. And uh, you were part of the inspiration for <clears throat> when I told Aaron that day at the song right in Nashville. I was like, man, I need to write a song about my daughter. And he said, well, tell me about your daughter. And I said, well, you know, I, I have this thing that I do with her where everywhere we go because I, I, I don't get to spend a lot of time with her. We're always on the road touring. So I pick her up a postcard from all these different places that we go. And uh, I don't fill them out and give them to her like normal people do. I just bring them <laughs> back blank. So on her wall at home, she's got about 100 postcards from all over the world. 
And the idea is when she gets older, I want her to go and pick a postcard off the wall, and decide, you know, just go to that place, see what she thinks about it, fill out the postcard, and send it back to me. So it kind of inspires her to, gives her inspiration to travel. I can tell she's a, she's a gypsy soul and she wants to see the world. So that's kind of the idea I was telling my friend Aaron Schurz when we were co-writing that day in Nashville. And I was like, when we finished it, I'm like, yes, I finally have a daughter's <laughs> song. I get to play with Mark. So, it's perfect. <laughs> so every time he does this, and I always do this one because this is my daddy-daughter song. So got to send this one out to Kendall. And as a matter of fact, uh, this one is up for TRMA yeah. uh, Songwriter Song of the Year. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. And for you any of my friends, my friends out there tuned in on my Facebook, um, I am asking for your pictures. Another inspiration that Mark has done for me. <laughs> I learned a lot from this guy, I'm telling you. I'm doing, a, I'm doing it live at the TRMA Awards. Okay. And I thought, how cool would it be if I got all of our fans and friends to send their pictures of daddy-daughters oh, or cool. vacations and stuff, and we'll run it on the big screen while yeah. we sing the song. So, again, I'm stealing all your ideas, Mark. <laughs> okay, everybody, forget Trump or Biden. Vote for Mike Nash. <laughs> that's, that's the election we all care about. <laughs> all right? You got a lot of great ideas, buddy. <laughs> So this one's called Postcards from the Road. And Mark, uh, thank you very much. He actually went to the trouble of learning this song on piano, and it makes such a difference to oh, have the piano. Awesome. So. Here we go. you could have been there in that coast of Carolina seen the sun light up the sky fell the wind blowing through your hair I can't wait to bring you back here's what I wrote on that postcard from the road you don't know how much I missed you in that hill country moonlight it reminded me of your eyes on a Christmas day Baby girl I might be late but you know I'll make it home Said that postcard from the road And then I know cause years go flying by Baby I hope They mean as much for you to read as they do for me to write Yeah I hate I can't be with you you grow, but I hope you feel my love each time you hold your postcard from the road. God, I wish you could have heard them when the lights came up in Tucson. Yeah, they even knew the new songs, you sang along with every word. Old Key West to Muscle Shoals We've shared the Straits of Mexico Those little pieces of my heart Each and every postcard from the road And up as the years go flying by Baby, I hope They need as much for you to read As they do for me to write you grow, but I hope you feel my love each time you hold your postcard from the road. And it ain't much, but it works for us, just a couple of gypsy souls. And I know that day is coming, and you'll be sending me your own postcards from the road. They'll be adding up as the years keep flying by Baby, I know They're gonna mean as much for me to read As they will for you to write They'll say, Daddy, you know I miss you Now don't you go growing old And I hope you feel my love each time you hold Your postcard from the road Postcard from the road. God, I wish you could have been there. Mm, you were always there. Right 
beside me Baby, I swear And we would sing And we would sing And sing, please come to Boston for the springtime Staying with some friends and they've got lots of room Love that song. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, so I'm curious, what was Kendall's reaction first time she? She heard loved. It? She was like, "Oh my gosh!" She listened to it because I, I, uh, we wrote it that day. And we did like a you know a studio cut or a, yeah. a scratch cut. Yeah. And it was just vocal and guitar, and she was just like almost hearing. I was like, "Oh my god, I love it!" You know. Awesome. And then yeah. the cool part is, I got to bring her into the studio while we were recording it because we recorded yeah. it in Nashville where she lives. And so I got to bring her into the studio, and she got to be a part of the whole studio experience and see that part. Yeah. And um, she's been out several shows live where I played it live. You know, so she's got she's got to experience that part. Oh, cool! And um, so I'm gonna go Facebook or not Facebook live. I'm gonna do a live video from the the Key West Theater. Okay. Where I wish we could bring her to Key West, but Key West is no place for my 17 year old daughter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not happening. Yeah, <laughs> Key West is no place for my 21 year old daughter. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> my daughter was not going to Key West, <laughs> but um, I am gonna go live for the, the from the stage and just kind of share that moment with her because she's okay. been there. For the whole ride of it, you know, and it's yeah. it's her song, so That's she cool. thinks it's pretty cool. And it, it's up for a TRMA if it happened to win. That would, I thought, how cool if it happens to win, I would have her make the acceptance speech over the phone or something. <laughs> so let's let's do this right now, Mike. Let's see what what these guys are saying. Yes, definitely. Uh, somebody might have a song that they'd like to hear. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, well. Tell you what, Shay, Shay, last week I didn't get to play your request for you, so we're going to change that right now. And you're lucky because tonight the gentleman playing with me has done quite a few shows with Tom Shepard, too. I have. And one of the songs you requested is a song that Tom let me record. You've heard me sing it, Shay, but Tom Shepard's the original writer. Before I do it, look at that view behind me. Wow. Is that amazing? Yeah, and I know I'm looking really sunburned right now, probably in there, but but don't look at me. Just look at the view behind me. Uh, um, you know, the reason that I wanted to record this song, Shay, uh, this Tom Shepard song, was because it truly reminds me of a lot of people that I've run into, um, not only here at San Carlos, but a lot of my shows. I tend to sing for people who want to be out doing stuff, and so many times, I, you know, people first come down, they go, oh, man, we wish we could stay longer, but... We got a big house we got to take care of. Oh, you still got a family at home? No, the kids have moved on, but we still got that big four or five bedroom house, and we got to mow the yard, and we got to clean the pool. And, and you know, there comes a point when you realize sometimes having all that stuff keeps you from doing all that stuff. And I thought that Tom and Leslie uh, Satcher, who co wrote this song with them, just did a, yeah. I never knew that was yeah. Leslie Satcher that co wrote yeah. it. Yeah. That's cool. You know her? I, I don't know her, but I know she. I've got a couple of her songs. Oh, really? Small World. Well, yeah, she co-wrote that one with Tom. And so uh, I'd be happy to play this one for you. And Tom, thank you for letting me record it. Mike and I will try to pull it off right now here. Uh, a song called Simplify. He walked right in the kitchen took her hand and said, I gotta talk to you. There's something I've been thinking about, a couple questions I got some answers to. Do we own this house, baby, or does this house own us? And those Harleys in the driveway, they're just collecting dust. One's got a flat. What's up with that? Had to buy some big lawn tractor for that yard we had to have. Now the only time we're out there is when we're cutting all that grass. How cool's a pool we never get to use? But what if we simplify, traded in our supersize for something smaller? Spent more time on us. Less time on chasing a dollar Took back our lives What if you 
when I simplify. We work so many hours to keep everything we have. We could let some of it go and buy our freedom back. Am I insane? Girl, are you game? Now I can't even tell you who we're trying to impress. We could sell one of the bikes and take the other one out west and see why you're Just you. What if we simplify, trade it in our super size for something smaller? Spend more time on us and less time on chasing a dollar. Took back our lives. What if you and I simplify? Took back our lives. What if you and I she looked at him kind of funny and then she smiled she said I'll call up the realtor you go air up Thank you, Shay, for the request on that. And Shay, thank you. You're one of those people who tunes in every single week, and I sure appreciate it. Mike Nash, what about you? Because you, you got a few requests back there. So yeah. here's one. You do two, and then I'll do one. Okay, you got it. We'll, we'll, do, we'll, we'll do flip one, what we normally we'll do. We'll do one more here. I want to get you caught up with your folks. You know, another guy who watches every single week, and he is out of West Texas, Turk Sims. And Turk, I admire you because I've, I've drunk with you before. And when I found out that you live in a dry county, I thought, oh, my God. <laughs> you were the last guy I could picture living in a dry county in Texas, Turk. I, that must not be easy. Yeah. But I'm going to do this one for you, Turk, because I didn't do it last week. It's a Hugo Duarte song. Is that El Paso? He lives in El Paso? What's that? He's West Texas. He He's lives West Texas, but I forget what town. Turk, send us a note and let us know what town you're actually yeah, in. If it's El Paso, have you ever heard the condensed version of El Paso? The song? Okay. It just goes, Out in the West Texas town of El Paso, I fell in love, I got shot, and I died. <laughs> you know, I like that version much better. Could you also do something with American Pie? <laughs> we could probably work on that, yeah. Mike, do you remember in your bar days when you used to you know, sing a lot more bars than now, and somebody would like come up and, and request American Pie, and you get halfway through the intro, and then they'll like, pay their tab and leave, and then <laughs> you're stuck for the next 17 minutes playing their request? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. I played for one guy one time. There was just one guy in the room. And all night long, he never clapped or anything. And finally, we finished one song, and we heard. And I was like, thank you. And he said, no, man, I was just packing my cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> well, Turk, this one goes out for you. Where are our Hugo Duarte fans in this crowd? I know Pete and Kathy Ferrelli who are watching are Hugo fans. And Mike certainly would have been uh, a close friend of Hugo. And Hugo stuck around th this zip code instead of that zip code. And uh, my wife, Elsa, of course, is a big fan of Hugo Duarte, and in particular this song, because she comes from a wheat farming family and can really relate to the lyrics about wheat farming and faith and holding on through difficult times. Turk, this goes out for you. It's called A Little Bit of Rain. I was 17 years old, we moved to Tascosa. My daddy was determined to make some dreams come true. I swore I'd never let him down as long as I was breathing. Working dawn till dark, side by side, doing all that we could do. Trying to stay alive, trying to stay together. We were praying if we worked real hard, we'd see our lives get better. Daddy always told me, son, our luck is bound to change. With a good Lord's help, some daylight, and just a little bit of rain. Now 
never rained a single drop and our dreams were bound to fail. It's hard to watch a whole year's crop turn to dust in one dry spell. There was nothing anyone could do, nothing we could say. We just loaded what was left of our lives on a truck and drove away. Trying to stay alive, trying to stay together. We were praying if we worked real hard, we'd see our lives get better. And Daddy kept on saying, son, our luck is bound to change. With a good Lord's help, some daylight, and just a little bit of rain. defeated all those years ago and our failures taught me how to reap those seeds my daddy sowed I woke up this morning and jumped up in my truck I drove out to the farthest field and I turned my collar up I walked out in that winter wheat and touched it with my hands and thank Lord for blessing me with those years of my old keeping us alive for keeping us together we were praying if we worked real hard we'd see our lives get better daddy always told me son our luck is bound to change with a good Lord's help some daylight and just a little bit of A little bit of rain, a little bit of rain. Mm -hmm. Going out for Turk Sims. Hey, can I also throw out... Can I throw out, is that Manuelito, Manuel's birthday, Manuelito, the, 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 the cantante? Manuelito, this is, this is our, another singer in town. And uh, I'm gonna, we're going to send out a song for him. Manuelito, felicidades, and uh, happy birthday to you. And we get to sing it again. This goes out for Manuelito. The, we'll, we'll do the, we'll English do the Spanish. One. The Spanish one's more like the American Pie version of happy birthday. <laughs> I can sing it in Spanish. Let's do it in Spanish. Do it. Yeah, I can do your harmony with it. Is it? Uh, yeah. Elsa, come help me out. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba Rey David Para los chicos bonitos se las cantamos aquí Desde no, ya. <risa> Mira que ya amaneció Ya los pajarillos cantan La luna ya se <laughs> Elsa comes out of the woodwork. Nice. How about that? Awesome. I don't know that version. Are, on every, have you been drinking my rum? <laughs> have you? <laughs> oh, but she said yes. She's been drinking your rum. <laughs> you know what I love is Elsa will sit here before a show and say, under no circumstances, let me near that mic because I look like hell tonight. Yeah, right. She looks like hell. I just told her and, to sing one and, and she did. And, yeah, really? I, I beg and grovel for my wife to, to do a song. <laughs> She says no. I have to like offer to iron, you know, take the garbage out all week. Mike Nash just says, "Hey, you want to get up? Sure, sure." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the deal here? I don't here? know that version. I, I know the Feliz Cumpleaños. You know, oh, well, that one. How about do that one for me? Come on, you well, can no, do no, it. no, no, no. <laughs> it's probably not right. I can get away with it. Did I ever tell you about my La Bamba story? Oh, let's hear it. Oh, you should. You're gonna love this one. So you guys know I speak a little bit of Spanish. And by that, I mean, when I walk into a store, I can get what I need pretty much. I don't understand it back. Like, I can speak it to say what I need. And then they say something back, and I just go, uh, si, si. I usually just say si. So we went to Puerto Vallarta. Well, actually, we went to Busarias to visit our friend Brittany Kingery, who used to live down there. And she played with a, a Mexican band in a lot of the bars, but she did all American music, right? 
And it was the first time I'd ever been to that part of Mexico. And I'm going, oh, my God, these guys are amazing. They play all this American music spot on. I mean, just they, they didn't speak any English, but they, they played spot on. They sang it just right. And I got up there, and I was just drunk enough. <laughs> I played a few American songs, you know, with the band. And I'm like, I'm doing it. Let's do it. Let's do La Bamba. <laughs> now, let me tell you, if I'm in America and I play La Bamba, I can fake it. Enough where most people, if they don't speak Spanish, they go, oh, you know Spanish, it's so good. You know? <laughs> there was a couple on the dance floor, and they were really well-dressed. It might have been their wedding or something. Oh, you know? no. And they were so happy. We were, you know, I, did the, I come in with the lick with the... Uh... <laughs> come on, let's hear it, Mike. You know? <laughs> and then we start singing. <laughs> They stopped in the middle of the song, looked at me like I shot their mother, and walked off stage. <laughs> so I've never done La Bamba in Mexico. Again. What you did was a grave cultural offense, Mike It was Mike a Dash. cultural offense, I think, yes. <laughs> so I, I save La Bamba for in America when, when they don't know that I know, don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you guys ever hear me do La Bamba, Probably a good I move. don't really know it. <laughs> well, you got, a, you got some requests here too, Mike. I do. Yes, they're building up. It, what a coincidence, actually. Somebody must be know, must know what Sherry Merritt, if Sherry's tuned in, from Texas, our friend from Texas out there. Sherry has got an incredible voice, actually. This is going to be in B. Boy. Um, I got Sherry up to sing with me on a couple of house concerts when I did out in Texas. She's a good, good singer. So thanks for tuning in, Sherry. And as fate would have it, the song that Mark just sang, that Tom Shepard wrote with Leslie Satcher, uh, Leslie also wrote this song with a friend of mine named Dan DeMay out of Nashville, Tennessee. And I always love this song, so thanks for the request. This one's called Waves. I'm always crashing on your shore Don't even fight it anymore I might leave but I'll come back Couldn't you love me just for that I can't change a thing you know When that sun comes up I'm gonna go What you want's right here, then stay. But don't blame me if I ride the waves. Settling down, it ain't my thing. So, so much out there I ain't seen. It's a crazy thing to feel at home Only when you're moving on I can't change a thing you know When that sun comes up, I'm gonna go if What you want's right here Don't blame me if I ride the waves I can't change, I think you
figured B would be easier on the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, sure, I can do that one real quick. Yeah. Hey, uh, Elsa, wh wh who was that that requested uh, Party Trained? She is, uh, she's over there collecting more things. After the song, I'll tell you who requested this next one. This is uh, Party Trained. Just a little simple song about my second ex-wife. No big deal. <laughs> Well, I met her on an internet dating site Surfing through pictures, she caught my eye My buddy said I should try something new So I took her out for a drink or two We were one hour in, I was still having fun Somewhere around her porch I'd run Things headed south, trust me my friends You don't want to be anywhere around when her fifth shot kicks in She's the life of the party Till you get her started On double tequila shots And twisted Bacardi When she gets to drink She loses control of her brain Well, she staggers around, y'all She just started crawling It don't take a thing To make her start bawling She drinks on her bottle She can't even say her name Well, it'll drive a man Crazy, trying to get her party trained <laughs> Well, I tell you, just when I thought It couldn't get worse She's on the bar dancing I'm watching her purse I just wanted dinner and some good conversation But I can't understand what it is she's saying Now I run around cleaning up the messes she makes I don't know how much more this I can take I'm fighting the battle I ain't never gonna win and I'm oh no there she goes dancing on the bar again well she's a of the party till you get her started on double tequila shots and twisted Bacardi when she gets to drink she loses control of her brain well, she staggered around, y'all, she just started crawling It don't take a thing to make her start bawling She drinks from her bottle, she can't even say her name Well, it'll drive a man crazy, trying to get her party trained And I keep telling myself, well, this night's almost over Tomorrow we'll wake up, she'll finally be sober Next time we go out for dinner and drinks I think I'd rather just take her for a long walk on the beach Cause oh, she's the life of the party So she gets started on them double tequila shots And that twisted Bacardi When she gets to drink She loses control of her brain I gotta tell y'all it's driving me crazy Trying to get her party trained Cerveza, no más tequila. I think I know her. Now, no, so Mike, this is your. This, that was your second ex-wife. That was the second ex-wife. Is yes. she getting all the royalties from that song? No. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with her these days. I'm very happy to admit I don't know what's going on with her. That was Jeff Gluttony, by the way, that requested that. Thank for, thanks to Jeff for uh, your request, brother. Appreciate it. Oh, well, let's see. We got a couple of requests here. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Tell you what, let me do this one. Song. I'm going to do this one for uh, for Bill and Cheryl, who are watching. I think they're up in Calgary, right, Bill and Cheryl? And uh, they would rather be here in San Carlos right now, but there's been some issues with the Canadian, the U.S. border, and they can't drive down here. But we're going to get them down here somehow. Look, we, if I have to go up and kidnap you guys and drag you back down, we're going to make it happen, Bill and Cheryl. The only thing I ask of you guys, since you are always the couple that gets my crowd going. Get off your couch, Bill, and ask Cheryl to dance, even though this is kind of a hard song to dance to. She won't care. She's cool about this stuff. <laughs> I got to send one more. Th I, you know, you get into the show mode, and you're like nothing. You, you're just, your brain's going a 1,000 miles an hour, right? And I saw Jeff Gluttony. Yes, thanks, Jeff Gluttony. And I'm like, wait a minute. 
Jeff, Jeff and Michelle. That's, yeah, those are the guys that took us fishing yesterday. <laughs> Melissa's like, they're the ones for fishing. I'm like, you want me to do the fishing song? What, what do you mean? With the, what's the fishing thing? And, yes, that's Jeff and Michelle Gletney that took us fishing yesterday. Thank you guys so much for, uh, for that awesome experience. I had to throw that out. <laughs> Jeff and Michelle also host the house concerts along with the Parrot Head Club. They do. Every time these guys like Mike Nash and Tom Shepard and Kelly McGuire and all these guys show up to San Carlos, so thank you guys. Jeff and Michelle for doing that. Awesome folks. Bill and Cheryl, going out for you. A song that was inspired off a bumper sticker in a parking lot. I did a little bit of editing so that I could sing it for you. Here tonight with Mike Nash. I see just the title of the song's a true story because it's called Jesus Loves You. First you stiff the waitress. Then you slam the door. You backed into a Buick. And then you blew on down the road. I wonder what were you thinking as you took off down the block, screaming like a madman and flipping people off. Just about then I thought I'd seen it all. Until I saw that big old sticker on the back of your car. And it said, Jesus loves me. And I did a double take. Can't speak for our Savior, but there's got to be some mistake. Now this ain't from the gospel. No, you won't hear this at church. Jesus loves you. The rest of us think you're a jerk. By the way, Mike, guess where I did the editing on that line? <laughs> Maybe you just woke up on the wrong side of the bed. So you're having a bad day, huh? Well, get over it. Maybe your mama did love you. Your gal dumped you. Fourth job's driving you insane. Go ahead, shout out to the Lord. But quit screaming his name in vain. There you go. Cussing out the traffic cop. Yeah, Lord. I know not what I do. Jesus loves me. And I know that's true Even when I don't get Just what he sees in you I just messed up that whole second chorus, Bill and Cheryl So I'm going to redo that part for you Out of artistic integrity <laughs> Did you say artistic? <laughs> Jesus loves you Why am I spacing on the chorus of this song? I've sung it a million times <laughs> I've heard it a million times, and I can't help you. I bet God's looking down, begging you to please shut up. As you say, Jesus loves me. Dude, I've actually got some doubts. Take a good look at the good book. This ain't what it's all about. Now here's a revelation. Take it for what it's worth. Jesus loves you. The rest of us think you're a jerk. By the way, I promise, when I sing The Rest of Us Think You're a Jerk, I am not thinking about Kelly McGuire. <laughs> I kind of promise. Did you say flirt? <laughs> <laughs> he said he came for sinners. Man, you're his kind of guy. But now I look into the mirror. Uh-oh. And my God, I realize. Who am I fooling? Thinking I'm better than you. Lord, forgive me. I know not what I do. Cause just like you, I say, Jesus loves me. And I know that's true. Even when I don't get just what he sees in you. How can I point my finger like you're the big sinner when I just might be the worst? Hey, thank God. Jesus loves me. Even when I'm a jerk. Hope we both make it to heaven. I just pray you get there first. Again, not thinking of Kelly McGuire. Jesus loves you. One more time, because it's true. <laughs> Jesus loves you. Hey, Mike, let's just leave it at that. <laughs> you know, usually when you forget your way in a song, it's really, really hard to get back. I know, trust and me. Isn't it weird? You can sing a song a billion times, yep. and all of a sudden, bam. Same it's thing usually happening. after the second rum and coke. 
It helps. <laughs> yeah, that's why all the big guys have the teleprompters so they can stay on, you know. Yeah. Because that's it. Once you lose it, I did, I did it the other night on, on a song yeah. at the show here at Lapa Lapa Griega. And uh, I, I couldn't get it back. Like, once you're there, if you get off track, it's not that's coming right. back. It's, there, there's a certain sequence in a brain that it works yeah. and you throw, throw it off and it's just as wrong. So. Okay, Debbie Howard would like uh, Rocky Top. <laughs> I love so much that, that this song is so popular for the band's version that we did. And we got such an amazing experience from it because we actually got to be played on the Jumbotron in front of a sold-out Neyland Stadium of 108,000 people. That is so it was amazing. Cool. I mean, this is a Jumbotron I had watched my whole life growing up in UT football, you know, sitting in the stands and stuff. And it was such an amazing experience to be a part of that. Wow. Um, and so I, I love playing the song, but I always have to preface it and say it's really more of a band song than it is a, an acoustic guitar song. So it's not going to have the same effect, but hey, go Vols, and even though we can't seem to win a game lately, yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be really bad this weekend. We play Alabama, so. <laughs> when I do it acoustic, I kind of have to do the bluegrass version. It just doesn't work any other way without the band, so my apologies for doing the bluegrass version, but <laughs> not easy on an acoustic guitar. Go for it. I'm going to do the tune song first. Well, I wish that I was on the rocky time down in the Tennessee hill. Ain't no smog, smoke on rocky top, ain't no telephone bill. Well, corn won't grow at all on rocky top, turns to rock it by far. That's why all the folks on rocky top get their corn from a job. In a pen. All I know is it's a good life, can't be simple again. Rocket time, you will always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocket time, Rocket time's in a sea. Rocket time's in a sea. Yeah, Rocket time's in a Debbie Howard for the request. I well, I'm not sure we have 108,000 people sitting on couches watching us tonight, but that was cool. Well, we're pretty close, you know. I, I saw the count there earlier. There's at least a, there's at least eight. <laughs> okay, it's, it's a Royal Largo, no? All right. Um, so last week, a whole bunch of you guys uh, sent me pictures of yourselves because it's nice for other fans who were sending these comments out. You guys have your own little community to actually sue, see who you're talking to. You could actually look at the guy and go, wow, he looks way different than I thought he would be. Um, so we'll see. You just may show up in this next song. We can't get everybody in, but we'll get in as many as we can. And I should pay you all royalties on this one because you all are my kind of people. Jim was lying in a hospital, they thought he was gonna die. His brother said, bro, I got an idea, you wanna go for a ride? The car's all packed, the engine is running, I'm heading for Mexico. Jim said, I'm in, the nurse freaked out and he hobbled on out the door. Ten years later, Jim's still kicking and he's got himself a beautiful gal. Running round this little beach town, the boys sure having a ball. Let me tell you about my kind of people, my kind of place, my kind of moments, and my kind of days. I'm gonna take you guys all down to one of my favorite bars in Cochote Beach, not too far from here, where Cesar's got a seaside joint. 
just south of here. Forget about that pina colada, cause all he's got is beer. The place ain't nothing but a fallen down shack, weathered by the waves and wind. I hope you like water, cause you'll be sitting in it when the tide comes rolling in. He'll cook you a fish that he caught that day, then he'll belt out a song for the crowd. He'll drink half your beer, but don't worry, buddy. The next one's on the house. I'm talking about my kind of people, my kind of place, my kind of moments. my kind of day to just hang out with a whole bunch of my friends. Catch you on Facebook Live tonight. He had a life in the real world. Now he goes by Captain Bob. Down here no one knows your last name. But everybody knows who you are. Like Larry and Maris, Giggles and Bruce. Kate Diane LaManga, John. Yeah, Howard actually got up to four boats. And Bob Merck's back in town. There's Helen and Jim and Ron and Karen. And went from Barracuda Bombs on just another Monday. A not nuts news day. And that's all right with us. Some guitar playing Ringo's banging out a tune And they're tearing up the old dance floor Mike asks otra mas Who can ask for anything more When you're singing for My kind of people And my kind of place My kind of moments My kind of days My kind of moments, these are my kind of day. That's a beautiful song. Thank you. And I mean it, guys. You are my kind of people. Thanks for joining me on Monday nights like you do. Is this so fun having Mike Nash with us? Mike, I think you have another request, don't you? Uh, do I? Well, I, I, I thought it was all caught up. Hold on a second. Elsa? Elsa's. Do I, have any, uh, I think I, she's getting into my I think room I'm again. Caught up. <laughs> she does such a. She's like the Vanna White of of the Mark Mulligan show. You know, I, it's kind of fun being on the other side of the conversation when I could look at Elsa and say, "Elsa, I think you've been drinking too much." <laughs> <laughs> that, that was so self righteous. Um, oh, okay. Hey, um, wait. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, I had a different one I was going to close with, but we can close with that one. Oh, that's cool. Whatever. Well, we can go over a little bit too. Hey, I'm, we're winging it. You know, if they're still tuned in, we're, we're having fun. <laughs> Are you guys still there? For an extra $100, <laughs> we'll play for another 30 minutes. <laughs> Is anybody out there? <laughs> can Just nod if you can hear me. <laughs> I mean, I guess I, um, I want to knock out some of the requests that we can. But, you know, we're, I'm having fun if you're having fun. If they're still tuned in, that means they're having fun. So <laughs> why not? I, I did not catch the name on that, Elsa. Who was the request? Who requested that one? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sue Moss says, okay. And she wants, uh, so just came, came down, must be Mark's, and remind me is mine. And Summer Sounds. Let's do Summer Sounds for Sue. Yeah. Wait, yeah. You know, nice. He just learned it on piano not two seconds ago, I swear. He's amazing. This Mark Mulligan, he's, he's just so full of talent. It just spews out of him everywhere he goes. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, four. It's a song on the radio Kind of makes you want to roll the windows down and just drive It's a crack of a pop top Slap of a flip flop Squealing tires past the county line And I'm bored and murky fighting up Tapping kegs and crushing Dixie cups Summer sounds that bring me back to that beach Down in lower Alabama 1995 Getting wasted away on a five and some change Never thinking about a thing past 
Saturday night Yeah, the sounds of freedom Wishing that we could make it all last somehow I'm living back now And I love those summer sounds Saturday night, the sounds of my life, wishing that I could still make it all last somehow. I'm looking back now and I love those summer sounds. Yeah, I'm looking back now and I love those summer sounds. All those summer sounds. You know, we, uh, we wrote that one for Toby Keith, as a matter of fact. He doesn't know anything about it, but <laughs> we wrote it for him. <laughs> we were hoping he'd record it. <laughs> Thank you so much for the request, Sue. That was a good one. I, I, I haven't played that one much. Okay, yeah. We could probably get to that one for Sherry. Um, you got something? You got something in line right now, or? I'm going to do one I haven't done in a long time. You should see, like, hey, oh. he says that on the camera, and you guys think he knows Spanish. But these guys just shake their head and nod. Like, they don't know what he's talking about when he says that stuff. It's just gibberish. It is. <laughs> no, it's not bad. Um, one, two. We're, uh, how about Pablo and Anais on the oh, video they tonight? Are they doing a great job? They do a great job. Yeah, and, and guess who just walked in here at Pelican Beach? The, the folks who are helping to bring us this show, uh, Ron and Karen from Seaside Realty, are with us tonight. Thank yes. you guys for being here. Before the show is over, I'm, I'm hoping we can get Karen up here so that you guys get to see her face. You always hear her name, and you see things about her in my newsletters, but I'd love for you to... Come. Here she comes. Yeah. Can we get Karen up here so that you can see that Karen Stewart actually exists? Right? She is a, a dear friend to everybody in San Carlos. She's been here a long time. We've been friends for a long time. Long time. Yeah, and Karen, say hi to your people out hi there. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this yeah, is Karen Stewart. Like Hold on. Mike, can you move that mic down? I'm going to ask her a couple. Real quickly, since you never get a chance, Karen, how long have you been in this town, and, and how'd you end up here? Well, I actually first came to San Carlos in 1982. Uh, we owned an RV park in Colorado, and I never liked the cold, and I had heard about San Carlos from some friends who had been here on a caravan, and they told me all about it. So when my kids had three weeks off for Christmas, we headed to San Carlos, not knowing what to expect. We loaded our RV with lots of water bottles, just because we didn't know if the water was going to be good for my kids. I had five kids. I was worried about them. And we got here, and we got here late at night. We pulled into San Carlos, and I said, let's just stop where there's 
the first pool in an in a RV park, which was Tekeli. And we pulled into Tekeli, and the next morning we got up, and we walked across the street to the beach, and I fell in love. <laughs> <laughs> It was great because I, you know, I just, the ocean, I hadn't, I grew up on a farm in Utah and had never been associated with the ocean. And it was just, it just called to me and I fell in love. And so that's how we got here. And then uh, we built a house here in 1988 and uh, it became our vacation home. And we came here very often. I would come here with my tennis friends and my kids would bring their friends here for their graduation parties. And so it was a big part of our life. And then I went through a divorce, and guess where I came? San Carlos, because that's where I always wanted to come. And I've been here ever since. That was in 2001. And in 2006, I opened up my own real estate company. And we're in the same location right now. So awesome. that's my story in a yeah. short and form. And Ka Karen's a huge part. She mentioned tennis, but... She's really one of the people who helped bring pickleball down here. And I know some of you guys who are watching who are really into pickleball. This is a great place to come down for. They do a tournament down here every year. We do. And how many courts do you think there are now in San Carlos? Uh, we were counting the other day, and there's about 24 courts. 24 courts. We have six that are all together that we use for our international tournament. We didn't have one last year because of COVID, and we're yeah. not going to have one this year. But hopefully in the future, we will be able to have them again. We've had three of them. Cool. And each time we've had over 200 people here from all over the world coming to play in our tournament. So. Right. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Karen, and thanks to your whole gang at Seaside because um, I know that once March came, a lot of these San Carlos folks had to leave early. A lot of our Canadians had yeah. to leave right away for insurance reasons and the whole bit. And some of them have not been able to make it down because of the U.S. border closure. And there's you know, some issues that are delaying some people. But in the meantime, it, um, you guys have helped to keep me singing for people on Mondays who would rather be here. But right. at, least, at, at least they can see their friends. They can talk to their friends in the comments. They can see San Carlos. And we appreciate you not only helping me to keep that going, but bringing people like Mike and Melissa and their moms down here, Rudy B. Yeah, we love um, having Mike and Melissa here. You know, noth nothing beats singing in person. I know that, folks. But, you know, I am so thankful that they've helped me to keep the, uh, the Monday shows going. So at least I can sing for you. Okay? Well, it's been really fun. Yeah. We love you, Mark. Karen so. Stewart, everybody. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I'm so glad you stopped in. All right. Um, I'm going to do a song for Sean Castle. Sean's another longtime friend. And Shara, I miss you guys. These are fun people. You, they tune in every single week. Sean is choosing me over the NFL this year, as many of my friends are. Thank you for doing that. If you'd like to hear this song, we got a little bit of a moon up there, Sean. There it is. Maybe we can even zoom in on that thing later. This one's called Mexico Moonlight. disappears and the sun softly whispers goodbye from up on this sand dune I watch as it falls from the sky there are places beyond the horizon but tonight I don't care it wasn't ambition but dreams that once brought me here Mexico moonlight It's just you and me And a soft serenade To the wind and the sea Mexico moonlight Where do the summer days go? I just needed one night here alone There once was a time When my whole world was just this guitar I'm wearing out the strip on the back of my credit card. Life is so complicated, and it seems to get more every day. Until moments like this, when somehow I just steal away. Mexico moonlight, it's just you and me, and a soft serenade to the wind and the sea. Where do these summer days go? I just needed one night here alone. Maybe it's magic, or maybe it's just peace of mind. 
mind But I'm somehow in trance Just sitting here watching you shine Mexico It's just you and me Soft serenade to the wind and the sea Mexico Where do these summer days go? Needed one night. Where do these summer days go? I just needed one night. Where do these summer days go? I just needed one night here alone. Thank you, Sean Castle, for the request and. Thank, thank you, God, for helping me out with the backdrop on that moon. You know, we got a little thing going. I tip him a little extra on Sundays. And know. He, he works my Monday show. <laughs> <laughs> not Just a bad kidding. Gig. Just kidding, God. Not a bad I know gig. I work for you. Right. Not a bad gig at all. Yeah. It ain't a bad gig. I was trying to think of a song. You know, I always when you and I play together, I always try to, okay, what does that remind me of? I need a song from Mexico because I don't, I don't, I've got other people's, but I don't have my own. Really? It's time I write a song from Mexico, I think. So when you do that one, I can go, oh, I have one from Mexico and I can do mine. So I would like to do my friend James Slater's uh, song that he wrote about Mexico. You know this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, because every time we come down here, it reminds me that we make things way too complicated in the States. You know, it's all about, well, you got to have a really nice car. It's not just that you have a car. You gotta have a really nice car, but you can never have a nice enough car. And it's like, you gotta have a nice enough house. It's not this that you have a house. You're supposed to have this really nice house, and that's the American dream. And you have to have all this stuff, stuff, stuff. And yet, it never makes us happy, does it? So when I come down here, it's like, hey, if they got a car, they don't have to walk. You know, if they got a house, they got a roof over the head. Well, they're not sleeping in the rain. It's just simplified. It's simple, and. It, it could teach us all a little something, I think. So this song right here by my friend James Slater, I think, sums it all up. It was early one morning, Playa del Carmen. That's where I first met Jose. He had a 12-foot schooner and a 3-foot cooler Full of the catch of the day His face was wrinkled and grinning from all the sun he had been in He was barefoot, cerveza in hand He said, gracias, senor, when I paid him too much for all of the snapper he had I told him, my friend, it ain't nothing the best broken Spanish I knew I said I make a good living Back home where I'm from He smiled Said amigo me too I fish Play my guitar Laugh at the bar with my friends Go home to my wife Pray every night I can do it all over Somewhere over Texas, I thought of my Lexus and all the stuff I'd worked so hard for. And how the things I had done from climbing that ladder just didn't seem to matter much anymore. They say my nest egg ain't ready to hatch it. They keep holding my feet to the fire. They call it paying the price so that one day. Just fish Play my guitar And laugh at the bar With my friends Go home to my wife And pray every night I can do it all over And I think for a while There that I thought that I had it made <laughs> 
the truth is I'm really just dying to live like Mark Mulligan <laughs> and just fish. Play my guitar, laugh at the bar with my friends. Go home to my wife, pray every night. I can do it all over again. Just fish. I'll play this old guitar down here in the backyard with my friends. Go home to my wife, pray every night. I can do it all over again. Wouldn't that be the life? Down here in San Carlo. And ain't that the life? Tell us, Mark Mulligan, is it the life? I believe it is the life. It's been the life for a while, 27 years, and I still have not found a decent bus ticket out of this country. <laughs> Can you believe that? 27 uh, I know, years. I know we're a little bit over time, but I'm going to do one more song. And I'm going to do this one for our buddy John Sherman. You know John Sherman up in Minnesota, right, Mike? Have you ever played up there for those guys? I have yet to play there, but we have been talking about We were actually supposed to play there, but then COVID hit, so okay. we couldn't get up in that area. That so, happened to me, too. Uh, hopefully, in 2021, we will be up there in that area of Minnesota. Cool. Well, John, I'm going to get back up there with the three amigos like we were supposed to do this summer. So I'm going to do one more song here. And then Mike's going to close us out with a song. What a fun night this has been. I want to thank, I love saying this, our studio audience. Yay! <laughs> can, you, can, can, we, can, can they see? The Filmed in front audience? of a live studio you're, audience. You're about to see. Mike once, he used to sing for 108,000 people on Stadium Jumbotrons. <laughs> And now that he's with Mark Mulligan, ladies and gentlemen, these are the crowds we're drawing. I got eight people. <laughs> and they're the eight most important people. I didn't know any of those 108,000. Well, you know, my, my crowds are a little more selective. <laughs> <laughs> I stole that from Spinal Tap. Like That's that. my favorite like line of that. But it goes to 11. Ours has 11 down it. We're supposed to be listed before Puppet Show. <laughs> if you haven't seen Spinal Tap, you will. You don't know what we're talking about. All right, John Sherwin, this one goes out for you. Uh, John, I know why you want to hear the song, because when you were just on the other side of Mexico, you just dodged one of those nasty old hurricanes. This one goes out for you. You came here for cold beer, beaches and blue skies. Then came the hurricane. Bye bye paradise. Now his roof somewhere in Florida. His fridge floated out to sea. His pickup truck is stuck in muck. His boat's up in a tree. Old John was last seen out on the dock, screaming out to the weather gods, "Is that all you got?" From the Florida Keys down in Belize, the Bahamas to Mexico. We all want to be where the hurricane blows, except when the hurricane blows. <laughs> like Isn't that right, John Sherwin? Now Tom and PJ bought a boat, named that baby Kong Cow. God knows that's how they felt before they ever left the dock. When Francis and then Jean blew the wind right out of their sails torn and tattered dazed and battered thinking man let's bail but last time i heard from captain tom he was down in san carlos pouring pj a shot of rum no doubt they got conked out but they kept that dream afloat they just want to be where the hurricanes blow Except when the hurricanes blow. News flash, the highway's packed. They've gotten out of all they can. Now it's too late to evacuate. It's about to hit the fan So I'm stocked up on Captain Morgan Breaking out my snorkel and fins House shaking, glass breaking Here we go again 
and write my will for the umpteen time. And make it one last toast from the coast. So lift those glasses high. Everybody at home, lift those glasses up. Here's to John, PJ, and Tom, and all of you crazy folks who just want to be where the hurricane blows. We all come because we love the sun, but there's one thing you got to know. We all want to be where the hurricane blows, except when the hurricane blows. Except when the hurricane blows. Except when the hurricane blows. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm going to turn it over to Mike Nash for one last song here. Mike, thank you so much for being a part of not only tonight's Facebook Live show, but for joining me and welcoming back all the San Carlos crowd this weekend at La Palapa Griega. And I want to remind you guys that I will be there starting this Wednesday at 5 o'clock. I hope if you're in town or within driving distance, even, hey, we got 10 people coming down from Kino Bay for this first Wednesday show. Nice. I can't wait for that. So come on down and join us at La Palapa Griega. It's an open air environment there. And, you know, you know, it's totally cool if you want to sit out on the beach too. I mean, you just can't get safer than that these days. I hope you'll come join us. And Mike, we got to get you back down here to San Carlos again one of these days. You know, we're, we're hoping that all this works out and goes away or, you know, at least gets under control enough where we can come back down and do the winter tour that we always do. Uh, so I'm planning the winter tour as if it's going to happen because that's all we can do. And then if it can't, then it won't. But uh, we're looking at hopefully getting back through this area at the early part of February. Yeah. And then you mentioned Keno Bay, hoping to hit that again yeah. like we did last yeah. year, you know. Um, so that's the plan. So we'll see, and I hope so. But, Mark, thank you so much for a great two weeks because – it has been two weeks yeah. from Rocky Point. I can't get rid down. of the guy. <laughs> really. I've called my, him my visa runs out tomorrow. i got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you guys do me a favor. Not, 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 the, not the visa visa, just my credit card. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. it's, it's maxed out. I can't, I can't go anywhere. So. Well, it, I'll tell you what. If you've enjoyed the music tonight, you, you guys know that I have my, my uh, stuff on USB thumb drive. But I just found out that Mike and Melissa do the same thing. They've got Mike's music now, right, on USB thumb drives. We do. So if you don't have CD players... Uh, and you can't pick up like that latest one that I've pushed on you guys that because I, I really love the Stay Thirsty album. That's on yeah, USB right. now, right? Well, we have it on USB in person, or you can if you go to our website nashmike.com, you'll see a link there for the store. If you go to the store, you can find all of the digital downloads there in the store, so you can get the MP3s and all that stuff. So. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So even if you don't have a CD player, you can still get s saddled with our music. And uh, we prefer we CD players, though. Honestly, I, I don't want it to just become digital i want it i like cds i like to yeah. hold something in my hand yeah, yeah me too well yeah. we got those too so you guys uh, so your website is nashmike.com you flip the name because there's a guy in england that's mike nash.com okay okay he, he's got a website he's got the, the the domain name like locked in i don't think he's done anything in years okay but he's got the names so. all right so think of mike standing on his head he's flipped over <laughs> nash mike and then and then mine is mark mulligan.net think of me trapped in a fishing net in a net Okay, he had uh, to go .com, so me in a trapped in a fishing net and him standing on his head. Those are our websites. <laughs> that's pretty much the equi equivalent of our show normally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, flow right in with it. <laughs> well, guys, I, I want to finish off with you uh, with a special one here. This is one that my friend, I keep uh, uh, mentioning my friend Aaron Schurz. He's a fellow trap rock artist, but he also writes a lot of songs in Nashville. And <clears throat> Aaron and I write together a lot. So this is one that we did back in December. Actually, we wrote this song. And there was a couple of lines in it, Mark, that didn't really, like, gel at the time. We just, it was like, man, I don't know why, but it fits. It needs to be there. We need to put these lines in the song. But it didn't make much sense. And then all of a sudden, 2020 happened. And we go back and listen to this song now, and it's got a whole new meaning. And so for those of us who've been trying to lock down and figure the world out and, and just want craving some human contact again and getting out with our friends and going to the bar, anything. Um, I think this song will have a new meaning for you. So this one's called Low Key. And thank you guys so much for tuning in and for what you do, not only for myself and all the other artists, but especially Mark down here. Uh, 
it's amazing what you guys have been able to accomplish keeping these live shows, these, these uh, online shows going for as long as you have with such a good turnout. I mean, kudos to you guys. Awesome. Thank you guys you for all for making job. that happen. <laughs> Some are running from a heartbreak Some are running from a county judge Some are running from themselves Some are running just because Met a few barstool poets Some has-beens and yet-to-bees Some are just looking for a good time We all got our reasons to be Keeping in low At the end of the road where the sunshine meets the sun Right now is when I am And this is where I need to be Keeping in low key Well I could tell you how I got here that you could do the same Man, that ain't worth a cold beer It would take us to explain So let's just raise our glass up To this moment that we're in And thank our lucky stars We're at this bar Drinking with friends Keeping in low Key at the end of the road where the sunshine meets the sea Right now is when we are This is where we need to be Keeping it low-key If you're hiding from something, ain't running from nothing, or trying to start again, if you find your way down here, you'll fit right in. Keeping in low, low, low key. At the end of the road where the sunshine meets the sea. Right now is when I. This is where I choose to be Keeping in low Low Key Some are running from a heartbreak some are running from a county judge Some are running from themselves Some are running just because Mark Mulligan, thank you for having me back, buddy. Everybody, Mike Nash, get off your couch and give that man a standing O! <laughs> I'll see you guys back in February, I hope. Love you guys. I will be at La Palapa Griega this Wednesday if you happen to be within driving distance. And I'll be back again next Monday doing Facebook Live. We'll have new pictures. We'll have new things happening. It's always a good time. Mike, let's go have a drink, and I hope you guys will do the same. God awesome. bless you all. Thank you, guys.